Hello little learners in year 10. Um, okay, this is a second web design video. Um, so you join me at a really important point in the whole process actually, because I have my CSS file here, which I explained in the first video. And I have my first web page here, which I have saved as graham.html. So I'm just going to attach 2012 to graham.html html like that okay I'm gonna save Graham HTML and now oh look I've got a giant yes it's because I changed the code in here to be a Scotland flag anyway here's my page and the point of today's video really is to talk about tables okay it might be that you have to get some data and import it or copy and paste it into here to make a table. Or it might be you have to create a table and then copy and paste into it. Or it may be that you have to not just create a table but type all the stuff into it as well. So creating a table couldn't be simpler. Even a trained giraffe could figure this out. You go to the table option and you choose insert table. There we go. Now, we have to choose the number of rows and columns, so let's have five rows and, I don't know, yeah, two columns is fine. Um, for now, I'm just going to do that and press OK. So there's my table. Now, what sorts of things could um, Expression Web or the exam paper ask me to do? Well, there are several. The first thing might be to change something to do with the way that the table looks. So if I highlight the table and right click and go to table properties, not cell, table, very important difference, cell is an individual one of these, table is all of them. So table, I can do things like change the cell padding, which is the amount that between the edge of the box and my writing. I can change the cell spacing, how much distance there is between the cells. I can align the text in the cells. I can specify the width. Now, this is really important. If the question says it has to be um, viewed in a browser so it fits the whole window, that would be specify width in percent 100. But it might be you have to do 80%. It just depends on the question. Borders, I can put little funny borders around it. I could change the colour, but believe it or not, you'll never have to do that in exam. So if I press apply, oh look, there's all my changes, you see. So I've now got a border and I've now got spacing between my cells. Um, and it might well be as well that I have to merge some cells. And cell merging is when you take two of them and you make them into one box. So if I took these two, for example, I could right click, modify, merge cells. And there you go, I've got one giant box. And now in that one giant box, I'm probably going to put a picture. So insert picture from file. Let's go with, uh, yeah, this one, the javelin thrower. There we go. So there's my javelin thrower. Now you'll notice that this box is now like really big. Um, and this box is like really small and you're like, how does this work? Well, you could manually take it back across like that, or you could just accept what I'm saying, that when you type in something like this, the best javelin thrower in the world, that when I change that data type, so I'm just going to bring that all the way back here to make the point. If I change that now to H1, okay, I can then stretch that over there and it will and it will move that. And in fact, sometimes you'll find it'll automatically move it. It just kind of depends. Anyway, that's all you really need to know about tables. You now know the tables property window. You know how to use the modify option to merge cells. Oh, and, and so now what we'll do is while we're here and we're talking about it, let's talk about images as well. If I go to picture properties this time instead of table properties, and I go to appearance, I can do things with this picture. For example, if it tells me to change the width to 230, watch what happens to height. You see how that changes as well? Well, that's called aspect ratio. What it basically means is, 
is that if I change the width, the height will change to the relative size of the width. So if I change this to 100, it will change relatively, so it will be 8 less. And if I change it to 200, you see how now it's changed relatively to the 200. It's now 15 less. So that's what aspect ratio means. It means keep the picture the same. However, at certain times, you might have to change only the width or only the height, in which case, um, if it doesn't say in the exam keep aspect ratio, you might need to do this. And you'll see now that doesn't change, but that does. And when I press OK, my javelin thrower goes on a diet and gets a bit thinner. OK, so that's that. Um, what else shall I do in this video? Oh, I'll do anchors, because anchors are confusing a few of you. OK, an anchor in um, Expression Web is known as a bookmark. So what I'm going to do is click at the top, and I'm going to go to Insert Bookmark. And I'm going to give my bookmark a name, like Top, for example. Now, the idea of this is, and I'm going to make the point by going way, 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 way down here, and writing click here to go to top. And I'm only going to use the words click here because that's a Cambridge type thing to do. So I'm going to right click and go to hyperlink. Now if I go to place in this document, it will find a little bookmark that I put at the top called top. Now this is also important, this target frame thing. If I click on target frame, I can choose, for example, new window, which is very, very common in the exams. And I can call it something like top. Or for example. There we go. Now, I've created the link here. Now, how do I see how this works? Well, the best way to do it is save the page. Okay, go out of here and go into um, my webs. So, my documents, my websites, I look for graham.html. There it is there. Open it up. There's what the page looks like on. Um, Internet Explorer, that's a bit boring at the moment, isn't it? But if I go all the way to the bottom, and I use the click here, watch what happens. I'm at the top. I'm at the bottom. I'm at the top. I'm at the bottom. I'm at the top. I'm at the bottom. You get the idea. So that's how you do the bookmark um, option as well. So, I have now gone through how to change the size of an image. I have not gone through how you can change the image so you can change the colors. For that, you need paint.net, and that will come in a different video later on. But for now, my interest is, is can you put in hyperlinks? Well, yes, you can, because you just saw me do it. Can you create and edit a table? Yes, you can. Can you bring information into it and change the type of data that it is? Yes, you can. Can you put in a bookmark or anchor? Yes, you can. So you have more or less 50 to 60 percent of the skills now that you need to do the um, test. You already know about this, or you should, and you've got the previous video for that, and you already know about this. So there you go. That's all about tables. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, see you again. Bye.